definitely won't use this one. Um, let's have a look here. What else is there? What other weapons do I have? Oh yeah, I got the Great Scythe. Pretty nice. Got the Titanite Catch Pole. For a while ago. Got the Grand, which requires a 50 strength and 30 faith. Um, so it's extremely high requirements. Um, in addition to that, of course, the weight is a, is like 24, so it's also extremely heavy, and it's also one of the slower weapons, as, as it's a great hammer, just the, like the uh, great club. However, the damage output definitely makes up for that fact. Um, just quite simply by being awesome. Let's have a look here. Yeah, this, this weighs us down ever so slightly, but if we equip the Sorcerer set, should make up for it. No? Unequip the gloves. There you go. Can we actually wear the black leather set? No. Damn it. Okay. Sorcerer set it is. Here you go. This weapon is actually extremely good uh, in terms of damage. Let's have a look and see if we can reinforce it. Uh, we definitely don't have enough souls to to do that at the moment, but luckily we have a lot of souls that we can use to make up for that fact. Now we can at least reinforce it three times. Do that immediately. Let's see. The um, Grave Lord Sword takes Demon Titanite, yeah. This one takes Twinkling. One, two, four. Oh wow, we can actually almost upgrade it fully. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, but yeah, right now the damage is pretty darn heavy. Um, where were we going? We were going to. Yeah, we were going to Seth. Because we need to take care of Sith first. Uh, now, I've of course completed the uh, DLC and uh, rescued Sith. So, there's a special cutscene in wait for me. Um, for those of you who don't have the DLC, you'll just see the regular cutscene. Um, and if you don't have the DLC and want to see the, um, the special cutscene, uh, I advise you to stay tuned because it will be coming up in a minute. Alright. Now, the annoying thing about this is I'm actually entering extremely hostile territory. Um, in a minute. And uh, you'll... Maybe you'll get to see why. Basically, this area is n not this area right here, but area that I'm about to enter is actually a uh, forest hunter territory, which is what I mean with extremely hostile territory. Uh, the forest hunters, um, aka the players belonging to the forest hunter covenant, will have control of this area complete control uh, and if I enter there without being member of the forest uh, hunter covenant which of course I am not um, I just have to see something I don't think nope. okay. Use. Yeah, you know what I'm just gonna fully kindle this one to be honest but yeah um, Basically, it's a forest hunter um, covenant. It, it, it belongs to the forest hunters, and that gives. If I enter there without being part of the forest hunter covenant, I will actually have. 
I will be invaded uh, very quickly by other forest hunters. Um, not exactly preferable, but you know, might have to deal with that. And if we should die, luckily we won't really lose anything uh, because we we'll just have to go and pick it up again. Okay, maybe I should actually just before I go into this area should probably actually um, go and let's see do we actually have everything we need yeah I do believe so wait what about the um, map peak what could we uh, equip instead of this not really anything I think we're good. I think we're good. Alright. Hopefully I won't be invaded by a gazillion players in like 5 seconds. I'm guessing probably yeah. And I forgot that these guys are here. I forgot that these guys are here. Uh, you need to take care of that knight before you take care of anything else. Um, because the knights are extremely strong. But as you could see, there was actually a player invading me by the um, fog wall. Um, so I was actually already getting invaded right there. Um, but now, I will be able to take care of the... Um, Of this guy without having to worry about oh yeah without having to worry about getting invaded in the middle of everything Really, 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 really not used to fighting these these guys at all. Oh, fuck off! I'm really, really, really not as you. I've just said like a million times. I'm really, really, really not used to fighting these guys. Don't know their attack patterns that well, and. Killing me so fast. No, fuck you. I think the, these guys will not respond. They'll just give you like three thousand. Um, 3,000 souls, and then that's it. Um, there's actually a guy that I need to defeat, which I will probably do in this episode, um, because he gives us, he drops a really, really awesome bow. Basically, he drops, like, the most awesome bow in the whole game. So, yeah. Definitely, I will try to, to bring that one down. That right there wasn't really that fair, to be honest. That's more like it. Oh, come on. Uh, I really, really, really hate these Zero Poise armors because. Some weapons just take too long to charge up. And to be able to use those. And right now I will just take care of everything. Uh, and then take care of the... Um, 
of the guy. That I need to take care of. Also, actually, another thing that I think is quite unfair. Uh, it's only a little bit, but I really do think that it's unfair. Is when you heal, um, if your opponent deals a little bit of damage to you. Uh, like an NPC opponent. Um, and you start to heal. Um, basically, if you start to heal, uh, like your opponent takes away like half your health in a single hit, and then you are standing just far enough away to be able to to manage a heal, but you're not standing far en far enough away to avoid taking damage from a hit from them. Um, I find it very annoying that. They won't just deal damage to you. Um, instead, they will actually uh, take away a little more than a half your health. Uh, like if you if they take away like half your health with a single hit, fuck off, you bitch. If they take away like half your health and you manage to heal. That was exactly what I wanted to do. Anyways, if you're standing just far enough away uh, to be able to take off a heal, to, to get off with a heal, but not far enough away to avoid the damage that they will be dealing to you, um, basically they hit you for more than half, for a little bit more damage than before, which is, in my opinion, bullshit, to be honest. I think it's complete bullshit. And this was the guy I was talking about, uh, the woman, actually. Um, Faris gives us twin humanity, black bow Faris, and Faris hat. Faris's hat. Uh, in addition to 5,000 additional souls, which is actually not that bad. Now I will just go back to the bonfire and rest. Just so I have the maximum amount of business tasks. And I will not deal with anything on my way here. Um, I will just run straight to the boss battle. Just screw all these guys. I hate them all, and they can kiss my ass. Also, they are basically the, the utmost easy opponents to, to run away from. I mean, they are they're immensely easy. Oh wait, actually, one thing that I will have to get, actually. Yeah, this is why I really love the um, the Black Knight Great Axe. And now I got the stone set. Um, there's actually a, li a slightly better set in uh, in dark in uh, not Dark Souls in um, in Ulusil, uh, If you have the DLC called the Guardian set, I think at least that it's slightly better. Um, But it's also like, for example, that one right there is just one single chest you have to find. And then you just, once you open that chest, you get the whole set. The Guardian set is scattered around the whole map. Uh, you have to find like each 
individual keys in four random locations on the map. Um, and that's only for the set. I mean, I don't know if they have a shield or anything. I don't think they have. But they have the stone great axe or something. And that one is... I honestly don't know if you can get it as an item just by finding it uh, in the uh, in the world and picking it up. Or if you have to get it as a drop from the... Um, from the guardian dudes in that area but basically the whole cosplay is rather hard to get but anyways um we're now here and let's just see if we've got everything as it needs to be i think that's fine yep i think we're good to go this is the um the other cutscene This makes it a little bit more sad that you have to kill Sif. Ow. But yeah. I really don't like to uh, have to kill Sif. Um, Especially not after that cutscene, because that cutscene is its heartbreaking, man. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool secret cutscene. Um, basically, a whole, the whole DLC thing is just one additional clusterfuck of awesomeness, to be honest. Um, and I really like the DLC. I can strongly recommend it if you have the uh, the money to buy it to get it. Wow, that sounded weird. If you have the money to buy it to get it, what the fuck? Anyways, it's one of the best DLCs in in my opinion of any game ever. So. <laughs> Go bastard. Oh wow, I thought he was just gonna stay there forever. Seems to be now, so. Note to self. Well, not really, but note to others. Don't just stand there and look at me if I. If I'm wielding a plus three Black Knight Great Axe and is willing to kill you without hesitation, just just don't. All right. Now there was a level up here, and we can probably use some souls. Actually, um. If we can't do this, oh, it's not what I meant to do, but fine. This should give us one or two levels more. Pretty good. Let's see here. Definitely giving us two levels now. Well, one, one additional one. 
Um, and this one I'm pretty sure will give us this whole stack of soul of brown knight. Uh, will give us another level at least. Hopefully at least. Can we get it up to 60,000? And I think we have some two extra levels. Like if we can get the counter on how many souls we uh, just gained. Um, the one that's just at 43 now. 43,000. If we can get that one up to 60. Uh, although we can't. Now that I uh, am looking at the uh, number of souls of left. Never mind. Still get it up above 50. And... Uh, that's just nameless soldiers. Let's level up uh, once more, yeah. Let's see here. We might as well just... Oh, yeah. We might as well just go and make the weapon that I want to make. What the... Here we go, and... This one, there we go. Okay, there we go. And yeah, no, nope, not that one. This one, yeah. Now we have killed uh, Guinevere, so it is rather dark here in Anolando. Um, but I don't think, and I'm not sure about this, but I don't think. That uh, it should have done anything to the. Um, it, I don't think it should have done anything to the. Um, oh shit! I forgot, forgot about something. Uh, damn it. Um, we need to level up a weapon to plus ten before we can uh, do this. Um, and what weapon is that actually? Now that I think about it. Ah, oh, dang it. Um, let's see here, um, have a look here, um, it's really annoying that there, there's like two different weapons and you basically use almost the same thing, um, Good. So is it a dagger, dagger, a great sword, or a straight sword? Okay. Okay. Good. So if we go to Undead Parish, um, yeah, 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 yeah. That should work. That should work. But basically, we need to make a um a weapon level uh, plus ten. Uh, to make the weapon that I am looking forward to making with the soul of Seth and uh, that this is uh, simply only because I will oh yeah I don't have any uh, yeah Let's see I need oh nine yeah um get and I don't think I will be using them anymore so never mind plus six there we go now I should be able to just go Oi. yeah 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 um oh not exactly what I intended to do but never mind now I can just go to the giant blacksmith and make the weapon that I want to make and the reason why I want to make this weapon is because it's a really, really, really good weapon. I mean, I can seriously recommend. There, there are two special areas, in my opinion. I, I consider them special areas because it requires a special attribute um, to something like a weapon. Um, to be able to progress through it in a, an easier way. Um, it's not impossible to progress through it without that special attribute, but it's definitely easier 
um, and those two areas is the, um, the catacombs and it is the um, is the catacombs and it is uh, new laundry ruins and there we go and new laundry ruins is known of course for being okay need one more then we need two more and then we need three more so we need two additional ones so we need like eight thousand souls Oh wow, okay. I didn't think that it would be nearly enough just with the large soul of an English soldier. Apparently it is. Nice. Um actually one thing that I will have to do before going out there. Uh well making the weapon is actually I will have to I don't think I've grabbed the item that is right there. No, I haven't. And I want to see what that is because it might be large titanite shards. It's just a titanite shard. Okay. Good, good, good. Oh, here we go. Uh, buy two more of these guys and reinforce this thing become plus 10 and now we need 5,000 extra souls um, I don't want to use that and I don't want to use that and don't want to use that and I don't want to use that one of course don't want to use that and don't want to use that but that, that one gives me like 1200 which is nothing so I want to use this one that's the weapon that I would probably make last this is what I mean. This is gonna make the great sword of Artorias. And you're going to see what I mean. Uh, why I think that that weapon is the best. Um. Yeah. What am I doing? Um. You're going to see why I think that weapon is one of the best when I um, actually get down there and start to use it. It's really, really dark <laughs> in this area. After killing Guinevere. But yeah. Um, basically, the two areas that uh, requires a special attribute is the catacombs and the new laundry ruins. In the catacombs, uh, you need the uh, attribute divine weapon on your weapons to make it easier for yourself, um, as that will prevent them from getting resurrected, uh, the, the skeletons. Um, otherwise, they will just continuously respawn until you tire out your durability on your weapon. Um, which isn't exactly preferable. Um, and for that, I re recommend you, in the first playthrough, I recommend you making... I really rec recommend you making a weapon uh, divine. Like, for example, like I did, I made the... Um, I made the, um, the Great Club divine. I recommend you just take like a weapon that you think you could uh, do some damage with. Um, hopefully one shot them, not necessarily, but hopefully one shot the opponents in that area uh, with it. And I just recommend you making that divine, um, getting the divine ember, and then just making that one that one weapon divine, and then just go through that area. Um, and then for the new Londo ruins, I recommend you making the great sword of artorias um, because in in the uh, new laundry ruins you need cursed weapons uh, you need a cursed weapon to be able to go through that area and there are there only exist three uh, cursed weapons in the game i think it's the uh, cursed 
dagger, uh, or the ghost dagger, the ghost, um, the ghost blade, I'm not sure what they're called actually, um, yeah I can't remember what they're called, uh, the jagged ghost blade I think it's called, yeah, and the, um, and the, um, the Jagged Ghost Blade. Oh yeah, I need, uh... Yeah, shit, I need one more level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need one more level to be able to use this effectively, which is what I, why I've been trying to go up to level up my, my stuff. For so long. But yeah, basically, you need, um... I can, I'm actually just going to try and see if I can help another player um, in an area. See if uh, there's a player that needs help in, for example. Let's see if there's one that needs help in the... No, not there. Let's see, if, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see if there's a player that needs help in the... Um, in this location. Um, but basically, you need... A cursed weapon to go through the uh, New Londo ruins, and there only exist three cursed weapons uh, throughout the whole game: the uh, the uh, jagged ghost blade, uh, the ghost dagger, um, and those two weapons are drops from ghosts, um, which makes those rather hard to get unless you have the uh, gold serpent ring. Uh, Covetous Gold Serpent Ring on, uh, in addition to having some, um, I can't even remember what they're called, some, like an, a consumable item called like a, a curse, oh, what are they called, I don't even have any of them, um, but basically it curses you uh, momentarily. Um, which is actually extremely useful when dealing with these guys. Not these guys, but it's extremely useful when uh, going through the, um, the, um, the, um, New Launder Ruins because that's the only way that you can actually damage the ghosts in that area. Ow. Stop that, you bastard. Sit down, my friend. Um, I could actually just farm this area for the next... For the next while. Um, but I won't. Basically... Um, um, it's the only way uh, to actually, you know, attack the ghost. It's either to curse yourself or to use a cursed weapon. Um, and there only exist three different cursed weapons uh, throughout the whole game. Um, which can be troublesome at times. Um, but basically, um, but basically, there's the jagged ghost blade and the ghost dagger, which are drops from ghosts themselves. Which means you, that you have to have, if you need, if you want that weapon, you have to have a um, a temporary curse or something. Um, on you to even be able to get that item or you can postpone fighting them until you get the great sword of Artorias the cursed one because that's the last cursed weapon in the game and that's actually an extremely powerful weapon um, I will 
actually just upgrade this one one more time. Um, but it's, it's an extremely powerful weapon. Um, because it... Um, it has a lock. It, it has a really high damage output. Um, as you can see, I mean, right now it's 213 uh, plus 174, and that's probably if you meet the uh, requirements, the requirement parameters. Um, and then, of course, it gets parameter bonuses from strength, dexterity, intelligence, and faith all together, which is extremely useful. Um, but of course, it also needs 24 strength, 18 dex, intelligence, and faith uh, to be able to be wielded uh, effectively. Um, but yeah, I definitely re recommend you, um, if you're on your first playthrough, to start by going up in strength and dexterity. And then once you get to um, at least a point where you think, yeah, I think I can wield all the weapons that I want to wield right now. Um, start going up in intelligence and faith. Um, because if you get 18 intelligence and 18 faith, um, you can wield the uh, Cursed Great Sword of Artorias. Um, which, in my opinion, is a weapon worth being wielded because it it's just so strong. I mean, it's very, it's a very powerful weapon. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, it doesn't really seem like there's anyone here um, in this area right now. So I will try and see if there's anyone in the township that needs some some assistance. There's usually a player in the... Uh, there's usually a lot of players in the township that needs assistance. So let's test this one out. But yeah, basically I can just, I will just recommend you to get the, um, to get the, um, to make the, uh, start out by making the Cursed Great Sword of Artorias, um, from the Soul Sif. And then after that you can make the, uh, regular, uh, Great Sword of Artorias. And the Great Swords of Artorias... One of them is cursed, and the other one is not. Um, the, the the one that's cursed is made from a plus ten dagger, great sword, or um, something else. I can't remember what that, that is. Might might be an ultra great sword. I'm not sure. Um, but basically, the cursed one is made from that, uh, while the um, the not cursed one is made from a plus 10 broken straight sword or a straight sword hilt um, which are basically the two worst weapons in the whole game um, and the uh, the non cursed version uh, has divine um, has a divine counter so if you get both of those you can basically go through all areas in the whole game with no trouble uh, while only having to fight every single opponent one single time. And being able to kill them. Completely. Which is nice. Um, so yeah. But it's easy to make a, a divine weapon. While it's very hard to make a... Well, while it's impossible to make a cursed weapon other than... Um, making it out of like a weapon in without making it into the great sword of Artorias. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really seem to be a lot of players here. Let's 
see if there's anyone in the dungeon. This is just because it's the easiest way to uh, earn souls. If you are in need of some souls. Sorry about that. Um, basically, it's just the easiest way uh, to earn souls. If you're not. Uh, if you don't have any more bosses you can defeat. Um, and you're in need of soul, a lot of souls quite quickly. This is definitely the easiest way to do it. And I could defeat uh, the Hellkite Drake. Um, as I've not defeated that one yet. Um, but first of all, that requires for me to um, fight an opponent that I've never ever actually beaten without using some pretty high level methods. Um, well, at least some methods that require you to have already earned a large amount of souls. Um, and second of all, that would only grant me 10,000 souls, um, which is l l not even a fourth of what I need. Um, so I don't think it's worth it. Um, and I don't really have any other bosses that I need to defeat. Slightly annoying, but not too bad. Um... I could go down into the um, into the. I could go through Blight Town and go into the um, into the uh, Ash Lake area and um, fight the um, the Hydra in that area. But that would only grant me, I think, twenty thousand souls, which is still only half of what I need. So I still need to. Get a lot of souls, um, which isn't exactly the easiest thing in this in this game. Gotta admit, not when you've run out of bosses, at least. Hopefully, um, a player will be able to summon me um, soon, at least. And I'll be able to help them. And I don't really care. Now I will, I will only, of course, get 50%. Oh god, I'm tired today for some reason. Um, I'll only get, get like 50% of the uh, souls that the host will be getting. Um, but it's still, it's still worth it, in my opinion. If I can get, if I can get, if I can, if I will actually be summoned, of course. Um, but yeah, let's see if there's anyone in the Duke's archives. It's a more rare place for people to want help, but oh. and after that, we might have to check out the Tomb of the Giants, possibly. Um, but maybe a player will be here in need of assistance. I really do think that the uh, Black Knight Great Axe looks pretty cool. It also looks like it will hurt if it hits you. It, it actually kind of looks like the... Um, doesn't it kind of look like a, a, a symbol for a Batman? It could li look like a Batman symbol, right? Come on, don't tell me that I'm, I'm the only one seeing this now. Yeah, I think it could be a Batman sim it's symbol for Batman. Not because I'm Batman, but I am Batman. Wait, what? No. Um, doesn't look 
look like there's anyone here. Let's try the Tomb of Giants. Maybe. We have a lot of places that we can test out. 